Hey, it's Carlota, uh, Kill Pop. We are Carolina Rebellion. I'm with one of my favorite guitarists in the whole wide world, Ollie from All That Remains. Hi, baby. Woo. How are you? How are you doing? Are we going to hold hands? We're going to hold hands. hands during this. Oh, we're going to. Oh, fuck. I just got dumped. <laughs> okay. So, Ollie, we were hanging out a couple weeks ago, and dude, I have been thinking about our conversation ever since. Where would rock and roll be without slavery? Ooh. Okay, so. Yeah, let's talk about this. I know, this it's interesting. I know it sounds harsh, but like the oppression of yes, the slaves, sure. they brought the blues, they brought the angst, they brought right. the emotion. And that has influenced American music ever since. And we would have probably like a very stiff still kind of classical you know yeah maybe mozart direction we were talking about that like yeah. where would where would music be now if we didn't have the influence from men coming through yeah. like the first rock and roll song is a black woman in the 30s in right? the 30s yeah it's yeah. amazing amazing so yeah. what if she wasn't here in the 30s you know would we be in an elvis stage right now would we be in a rockabilly stage, know. or or would we be in a Crosby stage? And just to be, just to be clear, slavery is a horrible, horrible oh, it's thing. It's awful. But but because of the pain that they endured, yeah. it brought the music to where it is now. But, it's but rock something but, great came from something terrible. Uh, but and, and rock still follows kind of that mode. A lot of the music Absolutely. does. I mean, even comedians, the, the the funniest shit comes from pain. Terrible lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a hard childhood. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people have had hard childhoods. What what, what was difficult about your childhood? Uh, I was bullied a lot. Yeah, were you? Know, you? Being a little, like a fat kid, nerdy kid. Uh huh. Just overwhelmingly unpopular, and I just got tired of being picked on, and uh, decided that I needed to smarten up and figure out my life direction and get myself to where I need to be. What would your advice be to a young kid who might be watching this right now? Yeah. Who is being bullied, having to push dimes across the quad with their nose, or whatever, be a trash can, you know. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta figure out what it is that inspires you, and you go for it. And if you fail, it doesn't matter because then at least you tried. But you have to go with what makes you a better person, what's a positive thing for you. You're, there's two things in this world: there's love and there's fear. And if you lead with love, you'll always find what you need. For you kids, fear is the enemy. Yeah.